Hello and welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial I want to show you how you can place furniture inside your apartment like this. Great, so let's go. So first of all we have to create these materials here. So right click materials and textures, material. Let's open this up. I already prepared it. So this is just a 3D vector as you can see and this is just a constant. So that you can modify this how visible it is. And then just copy and paste this for a red material. So the first thing that we need is an actor that we can actually place. So right click blueprint class actor. And let's call this build actor. Open this up. This gets one static mesh that called mesh. Let's place this as a default here. And we need one more variable that called can spawn as a boolean. We need two functions. The first one will be check spawn. So we start up with get overlapping actors and just can leave it like this. Then we get the length check integer is bigger than an integer. Leave this to zero. We need a branch of course to ask. Then we get the mesh here. Then we go from the mesh and want to set the material in both cases here. So like that. Then we go back to our level here, select our green material and put it down here and select the red material, put it up here. So when we have something in our array, we will select the red material so that we cannot spawn it. If we not have anything in the way, we can spawn it, of course. For this, we want to set the boolean, of course, in this case to false, in this case to true. Compile and save this. The second function that we need is the function called place. We get out our boolean here, need the branch to ask, of course, like that. We get our mesh again. From the mesh, we want to set the material again. On a true case, of course, we go from the material here and say promote to variable. Compile and save this, put this down here. We need this later. And from the mesh, we say set collision profile name and type in block all dynamic. Compile and save this. So we are done here. So this will be our basic parent class to place an actor. We can close this and go to our third person character. So this is our basic third person character. Nothing special here as you can see. So we need two more variables. So the first one will be placing as an boolean and the second one is spawn actor as of course an build actor that we created object reference. Compile and save this. So we need one more function here that is try place. Try place gets one input. This will be called actor. And the actor is also an build actor class reference this time. Very important. Compile and save this. This is the most important function of the system here because we use a line trace to actually spawn the actor. For this, let's take out the follow camera. You can also use the camera that you use as in first person, of course. Then we want to get the world location as well as the get world rotation. From the rotation, we say get forward vector. From the vector, we want to say multiplied by a float. Set this to, in my case, 1500. So that is the distance that the actor can actually spawn. Then we take out the placing boolean here. Of course, need a branch to ask like this. We go from the return value and say vector plus vector and connect both of these values here. And then we just say line trace by channel on the true case, of course. 
So the get world location is the start point and the plus value is the end point. So basically what line trace by channel does, it sends a line exactly from the start to the end point and when it hits something, it gives this event here. So we go from out hit and say break hit result. As you can see, we get a lot of information where the line is actually hitting something. If it doesn't hit something, we don't have this event. So we can go from the branch here, get the return value. So only when we actually hit something, we want to do something. We take out our spawn actor here and want to check, is it valid with a question mark on a true case? And of course, on the false case as well. Up here, we want to set the actor location. And the location is from the break hit result, like this. Down here, we want to spawn the actor from class if it's not valid, like this. And we just connect the actor input with the class here. Of course, we have to go right click, split structure pin, and connect the location here as well. If it's valid right here, we want to just destroy the actor, like this. And then we just go from the spawn actor again and want to check the spawn up here like this. From the spawn actor, we want to set the spawn actor actually from the return value goes inside here. Then from the spawn actor, we want to get the material from the mesh like that. Again, from the spawn actor, we want to set the material, but this time the variable. So connect it right here, like this. And at the end, we just call the check spawn function again and connect the spawn actor. Compile and save this. So we are done here. The next part is to actually create something that we can spawn for this. We go to our build actor, say right click, create child blueprint class. Let's call this so far. Open this up and we just have to set the static mesh that we want. Let's choose this one. As you can see, we can place this actor later. Compile and save this. Let's create another one. So right click, create child blueprint class. And this will be a table. Open this up. And again, we just have to set the static mesh. Let's choose this TV table here, like this, compile and save this. We just have to change one more thing. So let's open up our build actor again, open the details, select the mesh, go to the collision and select overlap all dynamic. Compile and save this. So let's go back to our third person character and to the event graph, because we have to actually call the function. For this, let's choose the key one, for example, you can choose whatever you want. And we want to set the placing boolean to true. Call our try place function here, select whatever we want. In this case, let's choose the sofa. Want a little delay from here, like this. Put this to 0.1 and on complete, we go back to try place. Let's choose a second key, for example, and copy and paste this down here. And on two, let's say we want to spawn the table. Compile and save this as well. Great, let's see if this works. We hit play, press one. As you can see, it shoots the line to the floor. And when it hits, it sets the actor. So now let's go back to our third person character and we can uncheck the debug modus. We didn't need it anymore. Compile and save this, go back to the event graph. Let's say on left click, we want to actually place the actor. So left mouse button, take out the spawn actor here, call the place function on pressed, get the can spawn boolean here, need the branch of course to ask and then we want to set the placing boolean to false again 
as well as the spawn actor want to set to nothing. Compile and save this. And the last function is we want to rotate our actor with our mouse wheel. For this we say mouse wheel down and mouse wheel up. We take out our placing boolean and our spawn actor here. We need a branch to ask in both cases up here and down here. Then we go from the spawn actor, add actor world rotation, of course on true, down here as well, connect it and want to put this here to 10 and this here to minus 10. Compile and save this. So let's see if this works. We hit play, press one, there it is. With the mouse wheel we can rotate it. As you can see now we can't spawn it because it's in the wall. When we take it out, we can spawn it and on left click, there it is. As well, when we press 2, there's our table here, we can rotate it and when we press left mouse button, there it is. Had also a collision. Great! So I hope you enjoyed the tutorial, if you have any questions please let me know and yeah, goodbye!